Welcome to my channel guys. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back and watching my videos. If you are new here, kindly consider subscribing. At my workplace, from time to time we like to get together and do something fun. So today we are making mango chow. Let's start by washing our mangoes. You can use any type of mango you like. Just make sure that they are half ripe. It makes for a better chow. Remove the skin of the mangoes. Mango season is here and there are abundance of mangoes. So many varieties to choose from. I love mangoes and when it's in season, I try to get my hands on as much as I can, even preserving some of them. I love to store the ripe ones in my freezer to make my delicious mango smoothie. I'll link the recipe above. After peeling, we are going to remove the flesh of the mango and cut into pieces. The ingredients for this mango chow is so simple but yet so effective. You will need the juice of one medium lime, 10 cloves of garlic, 20 large culantro leaves, finely chopped, 20 to 25 medium large half ripe mangoes of your choice, salt to taste, hot sauce or hot pepper to taste, 1 to 2 teaspoon black pepper, 1 pot spoon of brown sugar or sugar to taste, and for the star of this chow, 8 to 10 sweet and sour Chinese prunes. These prunes give the chow a beautiful color and it enhances the taste of the chow. Add the chopped culantro and garlic. We will start by adding 1 teaspoon of salt and 1 teaspoon of black pepper. Then when we are finished adding all the ingredients, we will add salt and black pepper to taste. Add the sweet and salt prunes. Add the hot sauce or hot pepper to taste. Squeeze the one medium lime over the bowl of chow. Add the pot spoonful of brown sugar or sugar to taste. Sometimes some of the mangoes are a bit tart. And adding the sugar balances off this. Mix well and allow the chow to marinate for at least one hour. Then taste for salt and pepper. Our chow has been marinating for a little over one hour. And it looks and tastes amazing. Well that's it guys, leave a comment below if you try this recipe and let me know how it tasted. And as always, thank you for watching and please remember to like, share, comment and subscribe for more videos.